Oh, I made a mistake. Hello guys, Sean Thompson here. Welcome back to another trucking video. Wait a second. We're in the wrong country. Aye, back to sunny Scotland. Jeez, eh, peeps. All right, so we've got a wee bit of maintenance to do to the lorry before we go back out to work tomorrow. We're also picking up the trailer from getting its tractor bar fitted down in Preston tomorrow morning. The, uh, the Mustang is going away for repair. It's got a steering pump malfunction and the boys just in to pick it up the now. So let's get it warmed up. It'll probably be the last time I ever get to start this for a while. I'm gonna miss this. It'll be away for a good couple of weeks. I know that much. Still got still got good steering. Oh yeah. Oh, could have could have put some fuel in it for them, but anyways. Well, there she is, all loaded up, ready to go to fold what it specs. Steering pump malfunction, it was already going in for a door wire loom for the window, window doesn't work and of course it was also going in for, it was also going for an aircon compressor because the aircon doesn't work and you know with all the hot days we get in summer here in Scotland it's needed. All right so now that the Mustang's loaded let's go ahead and give this a little clean and then we'll get the new Reggie put on the lorry. I'm buzzing. It's been a while since I've done a wash with the trailer off as you can tell, but I love all perfect. Right, easy that comes off. Right, Even here, look. Man, the new number plate is on and it is looking banging. He's ready. He's ready to see this. And not quite. Let's get the black ear horns on first. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I've been up here. Feeling top of the road up here, but it's also uh, health and safety. Anyways, chrome ear horns. Now, I'm not a fan of chrome. Apart from obviously Dura Brights, I'm just. I don't like chrome trim and when I bought these I wanted to paint them but obviously the boys said he couldn't because they were chrome and they would chip um, so basically I had to just you know go with chrome ones as you can see I've pretty much deleted all the chrome from my lorry apart from obviously like I said the Durabrites I've got rid of the primer kit any kind of chrome trim apart from them they're coming off and getting painted before the show I'm torn between I'm probably gonna go white actually yeah, I just made my mind up there. As you can see, I took all the chrome trim off the front of the vehicle. There's absolutely no chrome at the front. It's just these badges and the air horns left, and of course the Dura brakes. But like I said, I like the Dura brakes. Anyways, long story short, Ned Kings have just brought out black air horns. A year too late, Ned King. A year too late. But the silver lining is Keith needs new air horns for his. Mine are only a year old, they will polish up, they're absolutely perfect, there's nothing wrong with them, they're not dented, broken, cracked, nothing, they're just the wrong colour for myself. So, keeps getting the chrome on, his roof when he gets his uh, bar up, 
and then of course I'll put the black ones on. Everybody's happy. All right, first horns off. Let's get a lovely new black one out. All right, black ones are here. Wrong bastard size, but it's just a wee bit longer. I don't know if I'm able to make it fit. Right, I can't decide if lucky is the word here. Here is where the original uh, horns were bolted on. I don't know if you can see it over there, but that is where the bar, this wee blue bar was here. However, now I can move it forward and that fits that perfect, nice and sturdy. Obviously a hell of a lot longer. You can see the difference there. There's a little bit of a gap between the lights and of course the horn. Now there's nothing. Downside is, it's now blown it directly into Mitch Mr. Michelin's ear here. But I don't know. I kind of like it. You can see it more from the front now than before. See, now you can actually see the air horn when you're kind of at the front, whereas before you couldn't. It kind of just, that wee corner you get. So it sits a wee bit more forward. And I think it's definitely a lot more noticeable now, even with it being a more subtle color. But I don't know, I think I quite like it. Right, so I might have found a problem as to why my pipe was squeaking on the driver's side. I thought it was because the pipes weren't big enough. But if you look here, the pipe was kinked. So it's obviously pushing pressure through that. It's not getting as much. So let's get a new pipe on her. All right, so we found a kinky pipe that was there. It was kinked right round and that was causing the other air horn to be a little bit squeaky. New pipe installed, new air horn, obviously down to the, these brackets instead of these ones here. I'm just gonna fix this wire in here, put that down, zip tie it, clean it all up. And we'll see if I've got a different tone or even a louder horn. Should be, it's a longer Ned King. All right, let's give it a shot and see if we've still got squeak or if we've even got like a different sound all in. That's a hell of a lot louder. It's like a f***ing Stena line coming in. <laughs> that only sounds like one though. All right, so horn's off the list. Now it's time to fix the door. Now the door's perfect down the bottom, up the top, still bent out. Right, let's see if that's, if it needs a wee bit more or a wee bit less. This has fixed it. Well, it's tighter. It is definitely tighter, but not quite as tight. Right, let's try again. I have to do it a wee bit harder this time. I'm not just doing it. Oh. I'm tired of squeaky Oh yes. Oh yes. That is beautiful. That is gorgeous. Alright boys, it's half full the next morning. It's Monday morning. Let's head for our new trailer in Preston. I am excited. All right, a wee hour down the road. We've got an hour and 30 minutes left, and uh, it's been a nice wee run down so far. A oh, slight wee problem, we are fixing it though. Uh, I've got no hot and cold air, which is fine. I wear a jumper, it keeps me warm, but my windows keep fogging up every now and then. It's fine just now, but every now and then they fog up. I need to fix that. Oh, there she's there. There she's there, she's been pulled out onto the neck. Oh yes, there is the trailer. I'll show you the upgrades in just a wee minute, but uh, right now we need to go and find out where this guy is. All right, so we've just uh, hooked into the trailer. I will show you the upgrades in a wee minute. There's a wee hint as to what we've done. I'll show you in a minute, just once the hailstones go away. And uh, aye. I'll tell you something though, that Reggie plate looks good in a square plate, doesn't it? Oh, uh, I just need something for there, eh? I get. All right, are you just ready to see the upgrade? Oh, that's a wee hint there. Oh, let me get up here. All right, so first things first, this is where the winch used to sit. So the, and this, this is obviously removable, that's the, the stuff that's coming away. So the winch used to sit there, which is a lot further forward, that's about two foot, essentially. Used to sit right there, and obviously that killed me for space. So we got the winch reset back, as you can see, and now it overhangs the, uh, the Susie's, whereas before it sat right far back, obviously in line with this wall here and then of course we get the tractor bars fitted so they'll sit straight up like that while it can come down or sit right flat 
and that means you can get things moved further on in the trailer so you can literally get a wheel here now instead of all the way back there and hopefully that should give us a wee bit of room and it should mean we can load things a lot further forward a lot easier and we don't have to chalk up with wood and all that kind of stuff and also for things that we couldn't chalk up with wood but now we can obviously move further forward back so that is the upgrade it's been a bit of an upgrade video we've upgraded the air horns we've upgraded the reggie we've upgraded the trailer let's go pay the bill and uh get on the road and make some money oh jesus christ man transport is not cheap tra tractor bar fitted winch obviously grind off re-welded new brackets for the the winch uh, obviously paint and all that labor costs two thousand pounds <sighs> aye a bit of bad news a bit of bad news so obviously my mustang is in at four this morning getting a checkup not a checkup getting a check to see what's wrong with it uh, why it won't steer and uh, i ford just phoned me there and the long story short is it's 2.6 thousand pounds in parts and probably about six seven hundred pounds in labor um for a new steering rack because the steering rack that is on it is a uh, as my armstrong would say perished happy mondays oh mondays man mondays this has been a terrible monday for myself and it's just got a whole lot worse now i'm not gonna lie to you it has been a bit up shit creek let's put it that way um so basically i was to bobtail down to uh, Pres uh preston and pick up a trailer nothing i could do about that i couldn't find an empty trailer so to take down the road is what it is these things happen it runs at 12 miles a gallon empty anyways anyways besides the point i was then have to, to bail it or bring up the road it got sorted last week the boy forgot to tell me so i was relying on that to get me up the road um so i stopped for a wee half hour tried to work out a, a load up it got even worse, I couldn't find anything, so I was like, I need to get up the road, because I've promised this guy I'll do this load, and then I've also promised that the other guy that'll do his load, pick up tonight and drop off tomorrow. Um, so I'm like, oh, I'm just going to have to fire up the road. So I've driven so far today 300 miles, and I've not done a single penny, which is terrible for the start of the week. Anyways, we're now here at the, 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 the next load. Um, obviously I was coming to Dumfries with the bailer, so I was going to come along to Cairn Ryan, pick uh, some more tractor units up and go to Glasgow. So I'm here for two. That's one. So I'm trying to find out what the other one is. The office don't know what it is. And neither does the DFDS. Alright, update. Um, obviously as you can tell by maybe the McBurnley hat, I have uh, been talking to someone from McBurnley. Uh, got shipped into Stena Line instead of Cairn Ryan. So he's a way to get it and bring it over. So that's one bugger up, one bugger up. All right, here we are in the first Volvo track unit. The other one's just going to Portland now, so I'll see how much film I'm going to get. I'll obviously get as much as I can, but you know how I get around people. So I just going to build the air pressure up in this one and fire her on. So while I was off, uh, Keith was running my loader. How in the fuck? How's he done that? It must have been sitting right out and he's just clipped it, but jeez, he peeps man, that is some bend. Oh man, this has been the worst Monday ever for me. So obviously this one was at Stenerly, the one here. It doesn't have a Kessler bar, it doesn't have the wind kit up. The one I loaded first, Kessler bar, and the wind kit's open. Now I didn't realise the wind kit was up until it was up. So now i got to take the wind kit down. Well, I good? All right, if you ever wondered how to take out a Volvo wind kit, it's a 10 mil. That bolt, that bolt, that bolt, that bolt, to either side. You take this off and then it just slides down it nice and easy. And there's my rubbish floating out the cab. Oh, jeez, I'm surprised that. I'm surprised this camera still works. There you go, all nice and loaded. She's sitting pretty high today for a change, though. sitting at 16.4. Which I don't understand because she's not up. The suspension is down as far as it will go, obviously, because the mid lift's stopping the, the back actually coming down. She's sitting pure high. The other one sat about 16, so I don't understand four inches is coming from unless it's maybe raised suspension. I don't know. That is just a little bit windy today, boys. Look at the white horses out in that sea. It is windy, and obviously now a high side with these Volvos. We're getting blown about a wee bit, but 
be all right. We'll survive. Honestly, boys, all these scanny V8 boys go, oh, you need a V8 for power. You, you don't up, set at 56, bang on 56 on this hill here. Hasn't lost a single mile per hour machine. Dies on hills all the goddamn time. All right, we're just here at Dundonald Yard, obviously coming up for Kim Ryan. I needed a 45 minute break, so I pulled in to the yard. It's only five minutes off route, but it means I can get the old box um, section and all the headboard and everything that I had up here on the neck off, and then that way I'm clean for the rest of the week as well. But look at that extra space, I can't even believe it if you imagine that before was where my box was. The winch, probably for, for obviously there, to about there. Just look at all that extra room I've got now. Right, let's get these half loaded. Right, there's 108. Time to get the one up the neck. Uh, I had a wee bit of spare time. I'll probably never be able to ratchet strap out of that, but since I don't have a top box anymore, I do not have a choice. This is the only walk I've got unless I start using my cab ones, and they're full of my stuff. Right now I need to work out where to put my timber. There looks nice. I, didn't, I need to get new timbers, they're all kind of snapped in half. But I don't know. It means that like every time I want to put a car on, I need to move this. Nope, that's much better. Same amount of wood that was up there. However, now it's all hidden under here. I just need to put a bit there because I've noticed the strap's not got it. Look at that, all nice, tidy, contained obviously. The ramps will keep the chains dry, not that matters, but it's all nice and contained and then all the mess is there. The rest of the trailer is clear. Look at that, that is the cleanest that bed has ever been. That's how I run it all the time now. Just... No need to move anything. Whenever I'm loading, I can just drive it straight up. I don't need to move anything. I don't need to unstrap anything. I can just... Oh, I need to unstrap the ramps, but you need to strap them down anyways, you know what I mean? Very good. All right, it's a couple of hours on, I'm not gonna lie. I'm doing a bit of cab cleaning and so far it's going well. I've just sat down to have a wee dinner and get some uh, curry, uh, no, satay, chicken satay, whatever it is. Anyways, got a bit of reorganization in there. Bit of reorganization in there with our new shower bag. Oh, that's not very good. Ah, my nail. That's not very good, I might need to fix that. It doesn't fit in there too good. Reorganization. Uh, yeah, reorganization, reorganization, reorganization. Obviously, I've sorted everything in the bed. This is just the kind of last bits and bobs. And as you can see, we're just we're just getting through it. But I've stopped for a wee bit of dinner, and then we'll we'll fit, finish the rest. I oh, bent my nail right back there. All right, it's the next morning. Let's get back to work. All right, we're here in G Russell. Uh, now this is one of the biggest contracts I've ever had to move uh, nine tractor units. And this is the last one. I've moved them all when I was on holiday, so I never even got to move them, but there she is there. CM17 CVR. Oh, I just got me flat, flat broke here in my Scanny 450. Pretty sure his is a 450, is a five? I can't remember. Oh, I don't know how to adjust the seat, but oh, shake my bed. I'll get comfy before I put it on the trail, you know what I mean? I really need to get some loading angles for this video, but who wants to see the lo laziest load of a Scanny? Yeah, I didn't even put it all the way back to the ramp because it was losing traction. I could be bothered getting the winch out, but what I'll do is I'll put the digger buckets there for the digger and then the digger on the back. Oh, I made a mistake! Oh, I forgot this was, bridge was 4.5. Oh, I was trying to take the 77 there. Obviously, I'm not taking, I'm, I was trying to take the 71 there. Obviously, I'm not taking the 71 because uh, that's 14.9. I am 15.4. I forgot. 
All right, we'll talk about the low bridge situation in a wee five minutes, uh, and I will show you the load. I do apologise. It was one of the local boys that I kind of want to do a bit of work for. So, again, I was trying to, you know, be professional rather than whipping cameras out at the end of the day. I'm trying to build a transport business as best I can. Um, bye, as I was on the road, and I'll show you very shortly. All right, we've just parked up here at the side of the 66, and I will show you the load in just a wee second. I'm so annoyed about what the, this bridge. So annoyed, I should. Anyways, what do you want to see first? Do you want to see the damage to the lorry or the low bridge? Correct answer the load. <laughs> Anyways, first up here, we've got a couple of wee buckets. If I just show you, oh, a couple of buckets there, all nice and strapped in. And obviously, that's holding that one in. So, we've got the buckets for the digger there. We've then got three spare tyres that went a wee extra, but just to keep the customer happy. We took them because uh, I have been a wee bit delayed on picking this load up. We've then obviously got the scanner you saw us pick up and at Coal Bridge. And then of course we've got a six ton rubber duck with a bucket as well. This thing's specced out well, eh? Look at it, it's got all the lights and the, the beacons and everything. It's also a very nice paint, uh, paint scheme as well. Um, but we've got it all strapped in. All right, so with this uh, low bridge, obviously that tractor unit is a wee bit higher uh, than 4.5 metres. We're actually set to 4.7 to be exact. Um, now, some bridges are obviously over heightened, some bridges are 4.7, and they, they, they label them 4.5. Or, you know, sometimes that happens, right? It, it's, it's worked for me in the past. Bear with me because I could just hide this from you. There's no evidence of me hitting it. I could literally just hide this from you and pretend it never happened, but that's not what this channel is about. So, 4.7, we slowed right down as slow as we could go, we dropped all the air out of the trailer, all the air out of the unit, and we obviously tried to get as low as we could, but we touched it, we only just touched, but it was enough for me to back out and go the other way, it was a half an hour back the way it came, but, that's what it is, but this way would have saved us an hour, 45 minutes. Um, Alright, anyways, let me show you the damage, I just wanted to explain why I'd done what I'd done, I was trying to save myself 45 minutes and ended up costing myself an hour. So I caught extra 15 minutes. Anyways, obviously before we left, I dropped the air kit as much as it could. And here is the damage. Yeah. Those wee scratch marks there. That's it. Oh, obviously when I seen that touching, that's the highest part. So realistically, if I'd got under it, it'd have been fine. But it was touching and I didn't want to cause any more damage than that. That is more than enough. So I backed out and uh, went the other way. But I just wanted to explain that to you. Obviously, I could have fixed it by letting the tyres down or a lot of stuff like that. But if I'm being honest with you, there was cars behind me. There was lorries, obviously, waiting for me to come through. So I decided stop, back out, just go the other way, avoid taking any damage. But hey, that is what it is. We can't always can't always win and uh, aye, that is it. So I'll let the customer know that it happened and uh, just thought I'd let you know that I hit my first ever bridge. Obviously no damage to the bridge because I hit it like a mile an hour. But aye, that's all we're going to talk about that. It happened, I'm not going to hide it from you. It's hit my first ever low bridge technically. Uh, not quite as spectacular as what some other people have done in the past but there's still time for that yet. Anyways, 45 minutes, side of 66. We have a Chicago Town Pizza up here that is just ready. See you all in a bit. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe.